I think Nogueira's biggest problem is he's a guy that lived on his chin. Uh, there's a lot of fighters that are built that way, where they just take shots and take shots and take shots and eventually uh, come back on their opponents, either because they're tired or uh, you know, they've, they've taken four and given the one that counts. He can't do that anymore. He's punched out. Noguera is a very knockoutable guy. I've seen him take some good shots, but at the same time, I've seen him just get clipped and he's done. So Verdum is feeling pretty, pretty froggy with his striking as of late. And he's 6'5", so he's got good reach. I just expect that, that big old you know, goofus to just come in there and just I'm probably just plow through him. Um, and that's really going to be the difference in this match. I think jujitsu-wise, Noguera probably has a good, a good chance to, to outroll with him. And uh, I, don't, I don't see any submissions necessarily, but when they fought before in Pride, he just scooped him up, reversed him, held position on him, advanced position more often, and, and really shut him down in terms of a grappling match. But now, you know, Verdum's a better athlete. He's more, he's more relaxed in the ring. He has more cage time than he did back then. And like I said, he, he feels like he's a pretty fair puncher at this point. So Noguera being as long in the tooth as he is, I. I just think he's going to get clipped in his wig and that's going to be his downfall.